everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm Canarian welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. You are coming with me and Mafu on a one week Canarian and Madeiran cruise with P&O on their ship Azura. Are you ready for this? I don't think you are, but let's do this together. You and I, let's go. And let's rewind to the flight element of the flight cruise. <laughs> Our flight to Tenerife South was from London Gatwick North. Our flights with two airlines were included in this fly cruise package with P&O Cruises. Luggage is checked in and each bag shouldn't exceed 23 kilograms. After security, we bought some duty free for our cabin and enjoyed a lovely breakfast at the Breakfast Club. On this particular flight, we paid £40 each per person for exit row seats there and back. And of course, a few extra inches can make all the difference, can't it now, my darlings? With a flight time of four hours, nine minutes and no delays, this was a seamless process. Oh, and the toasties were gorgeous. I even had a sing-song in the loo. The descent into Tenerife South Airport is stunning with fantastic views of Mount Teide. On arrival into Tenerife South, we took a short shuttle journey to the terminal where we then had to pass through immigration and collect our luggage. This was a smooth and efficient process. We then took our luggage to our transfer, which would take about 40 minutes from the airport to the port. This transfer is included in your cruise fare. Next up, check in at the cruise terminal and this was a very well-oiled process, super speedy. Finally, it's time to board your ship. I'm on the ship. You will zap in using your boarding pass and then be taken to muster. This is where you'd head in an emergency, then to our cabin to collect our cruise cards. Coming up in part one, we get to grips with Azura in more ways than one. Try speciality dining in the beach house, check out some of the events and entertainment on Azura, experience our first rays of sunshine at sea, enjoy the pineapple life, so to speak, poolside grills, all the swimming pools on board Azura, those all important pool temperatures, a look at our cabin and balcony life, Matthew has a funny few moments, some of the extras in a superior deluxe cabin, making the most of alcohol allowances, making the most of freebies on celebration night, fine dining at the Epicurean restaurant, trying out the rise and dine breakfast, a superb arrival into stunning Madeira, how to make the most of your day on the beautiful island of Madeira independently and without having to break the bank, including cable cars, toboggan runs, a reasonably priced lunch, and three hours on a catamaran exploring the coast. And yes, getting a little bit wet in some rough seas en route. Back on board is our first dinner in the main dining room, the talented Azura Orchestra, and the very talented Pringles song. Ta -da! Welcome to our superior deluxe cabin. Let's unpack a few bits. And we're back. I will do a full tour and review of this cabin. Of course I will, I always do for you. Um, but here's a very, very quick look. Uh, it's going to be a very comfy seven nights in here. I'm absolutely certain of it. Uh, just a reminder though, once you've done muster and arrived into your cabin, um, you're asked to watch the safety drill on your television. Make sure you do, otherwise I'll get very cross with you and I will do this. I know you're gonna wonder why I'm at a coffee shop. You're wondering why we haven't come straight to a bar for a cocktail. I want to test out the iced latte on board. It's really important to me. <laughs> and this is the coffee shop on board Azura. It's Java. They've added seating um, since we are last on board, which is great. Uh, you do have to pay for your coffees and tea here, but you get a free little cake or nibble or sandwich or wrap with your drink. Pricing has definitely changed on P&O um, in the last few months. So we're gonna do another drinks package vlog for you, just to make sure everything is totally up to date. It's ice latte time. So we've got the reusable mugs on board Azura as well. Uh, you can keep this, oh, you can keep it with you all week, actually. Very welcome to you. Thanks, Kathy. Let's try this ice latte. For just starting their cruise, I appreciate the party. It's a good one. Yes, thank you, Jesus. 
When you board, don't forget to switch your phone to airplane mode and then turn on Wi-Fi for free. You'll then be able to access your account at myholiday.pocruises.com. This will then allow you to make all sorts of bookings such as shore excursions and speciality dining, not to mention checking up on your balance on board. Alrighty, let's go up on deck. Oh my God, we haven't had lunch today. I know it's nearly 5 p.m., but Matthew's going in for a burger before dinner. Wow. And who doesn't love a poolside grill? I dare you. All right, I'm joining Matthew. What a blimmin' greedy so-and-so I am. It's just a snack, that's all. All right, well, I've only seen one family with children so far on board. I mean, it is term time. That doesn't stop people, of course. Just tested the water temperature and it's perfect for me. Thank you, Pino. I can feel my shoulders slowly going down and beginning to relax. Another pool midship with the sea screen. I wonder if they've got any movies under the stars. That would be awesome. Oh, look who's arrived. It's Mr. Big Level 8 Case. Well, Talk about very good evening, everyone. This is your captain. Hi, Captain. I'm speaking from the bridge and on behalf of myself and the entire ship's company. A very warm welcome on board to all of you. Thank you, darling. Ta-da! All done. Oh, now I feel like my OCD is in check. Thank you. Oh, look at these robes. Awesome. Will our big boy fit under the bed? There you go. Matthew's checking out what's on tonight and the Horizon newsletter. Was that a bit over the top the way I said that? Alrighty, a few perks of having a superior deluxe cabin. Let's do this. First of all, you get a big Triffid that will eat your head off. A box of treats. You get a bottle of bubbly. By the way, this does not come in the cabin. We actually purchased that at London Gatwick, if you remember. You are allowed one liter, um, a one litre bottle of alcohol per adult in your cabin. These little bad girls and boys we bought at the shop dockside. A wild atlas and your own pair of binoculars. So you can have a little peep at all your fellow passengers when they're out on their balconies. These gorgeous robes. You can't take them home though. A bath tub as well as shower. Magnets not included. We should also have a delivery of canapes one evening as well. I will keep an eye out for them. Alrighty, first shower of this cruise. Please be a powerful hot one. I love powerful and hot. Let's do this. Right, that was hot and powerful. I love it. And these towels. Ooh, big, fluffy, beautiful, warm towels. Ooh, I think it's time to go and cause some mischief. Oh, yes, I do. Here we go. We're going to start our cruise in the Planet Bar. Oh, I love it over here. So there's no crow's nest on Azura, but there is this beauty right at the back. It overhangs as well, so you get some good ocean views when you're at sea. I think we'll go straight in for a passion fruit martini, my darlings. Are you surprised? No. Such a cool bar. Honestly, I love it. Is it looking its age? Yeah, but then so am I, so who the hell cares? Here it goes, folks. Look out, lock everyone up. We're going in. Cheers for the first time, my darlings. Oh my God. I don't know how Pino managed to make these so sour. They are my absolute favourites anywhere on the planet. And I'm in Planet Bar, so imagine. Matthew, that's strong and bitter, just like... Matthew. Matthew. Not me? And you. And me. Oh! But mostly Ma Matthew. But mostly Matthew, absolutely. I kind of wish I could do a vote, folks. In, out, or shake it all about. Matthew, what shall I do? Just drink it. Just drink it. <laughs> Shut up and drink. So be it. Oh, that tastes like champagne. So cool. So retro, but so cool. I love an island bar as well. Here's something you don't see very often. No, not the drink, but Matthew, Matthew. He's making a vlog. He's actually doing the drinks package vlog. Look, look at the focus on his face. You wouldn't see that on my face. Cheers, Matthew. This is Grey Goose with a splash of soda and fresh lime, and it's delicious. Zesty, citrusy, and gorgeous, just like. Both Matthew and I are in the Caribbean loyalty tier. I got there first. So we do get an exclusive sail away drinks voucher, some bubbles for us. Cheers, Matthew. Oh, that didn't make a, a nice chink. Oh, oh. 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 Tingles as it goes down. Alrighty, it's dinner time and we are heading to the Beach House Speciality Dining. It's actually really nice in here, you know. 
It feels more like a, a restaurant than the beach house on Iona and Arvia, actually. So we booked in advance and it only cost £15.20 for the two of us. And that was before our loyalty discount of 10%. It's great value. You're going to get a starter, a main and dessert. Some of the items here come with a surcharge, so make sure you double check. We love a bit of beach house on our first night. It's become a bit of a tradition, actually. Right, I'm going to try and say this without laughing. I've got the Mexican poke bowl. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be able to. I've got the Mexican poke bowl, which is vegan. And it's got all sorts of beautiful veggies, tortilla chips, beans, salsa, chili. Oh, it's got quinoa as well. Mmm. You've never had a pokey like it. I love it. I really love it. And it's got fire. Mmm. Ah, spicy. Matthew absolutely loves these potato skins. Matthew's gone with the honey and garlic chicken, which is served on a bed of chorizo potatoes and greens. I've got what looks like a massive portion of sizzling chicken tinga bajita. Fire. You can order more tortilla as well if you want. I've got to somehow wrappy wrappy this up. What a beast. Oh, speaking of beast, someone said I was trying to be Mr. Beast. I don't even know who that is. I've seen Mr. Beast chocolate in the, sh uh, in the shops and it looked nasty, but that's all I know. Sorry. So nicely charred, a little bit of heat, spice, paprika, a little bit of sweetness as well, actually. It's delish. Radio, Matthew's got the dulce de leche tart. And this is the low sugar deep filled apple pie with vanilla sorbet. What more do you need to know? So we like coming to the beach house on night number one for a couple of reasons. First of all, this place gets absolutely heaving as the week progresses. But also, we want to avoid main dining room chaos on night one. Um, just perfect. We had such a good three course meal here. Every course delicious love it yummy 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 by the way does anybody remember this when it used to be verona it was complimentary italian fare delicious calzone here and matthew fondly remembers the pork milanese <laughs> oh look at the cuties oh god bless you and all who vetlin you oh look at her with her arched back i wonder if craig rebel hall would like a Fabulous. Oh, you lot are fabulous. We're on the move. See you next Friday, Tenerife. All right, if you were me, where would you put nibbles? Um. <laughs> oh, look at these. Ganchitos, sabor a queso. Oh, look, Pringles as well. That'll do for now. Honestly, I'm too tired to think right now. I'm so exhausted. Work was a nightmare this week. Again. Let's get this bad girl out. Look at these beauties. The slippers, obviously. Now then, Matthew bought me a new pillow mist. This one has lavender, eucalyptus, vetiver and jasmine. Let's see what it's like, eh? It looks posh from Marks and Spencer. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. Mm. <sighs> and he got me some Pulse Point Oil. I think you've got to rub it on your bits and bobs. I'm going to put some on my neck. Apparently I've got a pulse here. <laughs> put it on Matthew as well, look. What does this do, Matthew? Don't know. He doesn't know. It what do you buy it for? Nice. It smells nice. All right. Matthew, are you going to say goodnight to everyone? No. No? Not at all. Don't worry, I'll say goodnight to you. We're heading to Madeira. Sea day tomorrow. It's celebration night. <laughs> We're heading to speciality posh fine dining at the Epicurean. Make sure you stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, I love you. I don't love you. I don't love you. Oh, I love you. Good night. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. It's our sea day as we sail the Atlantic to Madeira. Now then, not a bad night's sleep, a little bit of gentle rolling, which we quite like. Um, the temperature in the cabin is fine. We like it a bit more Arctic than this. 
I think it's because it's a bigger cabin, so it's taking a little bit longer to cool down to a temperature that suits us, but not bad. And let's have a peep outside. Wow, it's a bit lumpy and grey, just like me. I can see some brakes coming though. I am optimistic for today, I really am. It's time to stop the resting. There you go, little cabin steward. Right, well, it's very busy at the main dining room for breakfast, so we've taken a pager and we're now in Java coffee shop, hoping for some iced goodness. Oh, that was only five minutes. We haven't got a coffee yet. Sorry, everybody at the main dining room, you're gonna have to wait for us. Oh, they've made another delightful iced coffee. Thank you. Oh, there's some not very happy people around because of the lines. And in we go. This is the Peninsula main dining room. Oh. Over in the corner, that's exactly where we belong. All right, we've brought our coffees in and let's have a look at the rise and shine menu. What are you having, hot, cold, or a bit of both? Good morning. Let's have some more coffee, eh? Why not? That's right, Matthew, get that milk in for me, please. Help, 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 darlings. Thanks, Benedict, for Matthew. It looks great. And I've got plain old pancakes with some banana. We were on Arvia recently and we went to the Keelan Cow for speciality breakfast. These are much better than the ones Matthew paid for. True story. Now, welcome to the atrium on board Azura. Now, I always used to joke that this was a bit like Debenhams. Uh, <laughs> and that's not to be offensive or anything. I quite like it. And as you can see, you have some of the shops and the bars and restaurants dotted around the atrium. Oh, look, it's the blue bar. Can't wait to go there. I love the blue bar. And it is blue as well. Imagine. All right, let's get a bit of fresh air. Towels by the pools. Come on, sunshine. Just a little bit. Perfectly acceptable temperature out on deck. A little bit breezy, but not too bad. Lots of lounges available. Lots of space in that pool. Awesome. What are you excited about today? Having ice delivered for the first Having time. ice delivered. So I can have a drink. So we can have a in drink cabin. in his cabin. That's all he cares about, isn't it? Anything else? Yeah, that is it. No, he doesn't care about me. <laughs> and thank you to everyone coming up and saying hello. I really appreciate it. It's lovely to meet you all. Capitan has just said there's 4,000 meters of ocean beneath us. Not scary at all. Ooh, sunshine. I have to get a cocktail to go with the sunshine, won't I? Is it ever too early for a cocktail? No. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Sending Matthew to get me a cocktail. Chop, chop, Matthew. Sunset cooler. Cheers. Well, the water temperature's not too bad, my darlings. I'm not getting in just yet because it's a bit breezy down here. Oh, good to see a hoist down here as well. Fabulous. Oh, look at all the free lounges. This is like heaven. Does this mean anything in your world? In my world, it's one of me five a day. Alrighty, we have a pizza here, which is poolside, next to Coral Pool, and also ice creamery. Matthew's opt-in for burgers, because he's addicted to burgers. Dirty burgers. Right, you can pop some olives or onion, herbs, chili on top. Right, don't be alarmed that there's nothing left because as the lovely lady next to me just said, we're gonna get the fresh ones. Good to know, gluten-free pizza base on request. Here they come. Thank you very much. Nice thin base. A little bit charred on the outside, which I like. Uh, the tomato base is also quite sweet. I like that. Good. Dirty burger for Dirty Matthew. Oh, I don't know. Should I dare it? I might get me little pinkies in first. It's all getting warmer now. Thank you, Atlantic. Slowly but surely. Who's Shirley? <sighs> I made it. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's actually fine. I'm just a total wimp, aren't I? Right, off for a swim. <sighs> That's nice. Alrighty, here's a look at the pools on Azura. This is the terrace pool, right at the aft. 
and there's also a plunge pool back here. Our beloved aqua pool with the sea screen. The coral pool. And the adults only oasis pool. All right, back in the cabin for a coffee. Oh, we got biscuits. And also, I haven't seen this before. We didn't ask for it. They put fresh milk in our fridge. How awesome. Oh, this half bottle of bubbles is because we are Caribbean loyalty tier. Thank you very much. This fridge is getting, yeah, it's cold, it's lovely. This fridge is getting busy. All right, and out onto our balcony to enjoy some late afternoon sunshine. You all right there, Matthew? Oh, he's very happy there, look. Nice and warm. Little coffee, thanks, Matthew. What are you doing with your tooth? <laughs> what are you doing? Sunbathing my tooth. Sunbathing your tooth. Coffee, coffee. Oh, look at this. Sexy or what, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, look, I've got my piano slippers too. I am the full package today, I tell you. It's celebration night. Woo! -hoo! So I always get a lot of questions about dress codes. Um, on a celebration or black tie night, here's what is expected of you. But if you don't want to partake, and I don't always partake, there are other options for you. And please don't let anybody say to you, oh, you've just got to go to the buffet. That's a nonsense. There are other options as well. Alrighty, our lovely cabin steward's just been in with our ice. He's brought some fruit. We've got our bubbles. Happy days. Here's how to keep a maffle happy in three easy steps. Step one, ice, ice, baby. Da, 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 da. Step two, add vodka. No, he's not a fussy witch. I might bring a jigger in the future. Step three, add a sugar-free mixer. And let's see if this does the trick. Matthew, 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 look what I got for you. Thank you. Thank you, is that nice? Yeah, is it nice? It, what, you tell me. Yeah. Was that nice? Yeah. Thank you, Jamie? Yeah. Well done, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Matthew. Cheers. Chin chin. Oh. Woo. Chin chin, Matthew. Here's to a freebie. <laughs> this is for everyone, by the way, not just because I'm a vlogger. Don't start saying that. Play it, play it, play it. Go on. Cheers. Whilst I'm not a massive fan of dressing up, this is actually a really nice occasion. There's a lovely buzz about the ship. Welcome to the um, atrium here on board of Zora. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Reception. And it does give me great pleasure to welcome the master of Azora, Captain Milton. Master Milter. of the Owls. Da 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 da. Woo! Capitan, Capitan, where shall I go? Good evening. Good evening, Capitan. Oh my God, someone's farted. That's disgusting. Oh, congratulations. Oh, it's Kathy. I love her. She's so strict with people about sun lounges. So, I love you, Kathy. Kathy. Welcome to Malabar Bad Bar. I do like the vibe in here, I've got to say. Cheers, Matthew. I can only hope it's still sour. Oh, hell yeah. Now, there is quite a lot of controversy online about Azura and whether she's looking old and tired. I would say the cabins definitely need a reefer, but some of the public spaces I think are great. All right, time for the blue bar because it's blue. Cheers, Matthew. I'm having a Cosmo and he's got a Negroni. And we've been joined by a lovely couple, bless them. Well, either we are rocking and rolling or I'm wrecked. Matthew, I've got a question for you. Am I drunk? Probably. Oh, uh, what about you? No. No, he is. He is. He's wrecked. It's dinner time. We are eating at the Epicurean at 17. So called because it's on the 17th floor. This is fine dining, Azura style. This is the seating area. I'm getting nudged by Matthew, which means get a move on. Here we go. Ah, uh, that's so cool. What a lovely table. So the Epicurean is probably the most expensive uh, specialty dining venue on board piano having said that it was only about 24 pounds each and then of course our loyalty discount of 10 percent ends up being quite good value so you're going to get a starter a main course and a dessert here and you can have as many sides as you want i'll have thousands thank you and a peep at the desserts as well oh taster for two matthew probably have that all on his own cheers matthew french sauvignon 
bit of Savvy Blanc, everybody. It's supposed to have notes of gooseberry, peach, and... Mm, that's really nice and crisp and clean, actually. I like that one. That's the jamon iberico carved at your table. Well, right. wow. this amuse-bouche is apple yogurt, apparently. Apple yogurt is. I don't know what to make of that. My little hobus loaf. And we've got unsalted butter and marmite butter, which I absolutely could literally slather all over myself. Oh my God, I love marmite butter. Yeasty, salty, just like you. Do you know what I mean? You need to allow at least two and a half hours to eat here, by the way. There's multiple courses, multiple wines as well. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, black pepper would be awesome. Thank you so much. That is perfect. Thank you. You know I have to have soup, don't you? You know it. I'm sorry if you think it's boring. I love soup. I bloody love it. Oh my God. That is so good. It is so silky and smooth and creamy. Celeriac, black pepper cutting through. Delicious, delicious. All right, Matthew's got the crab and langoustine cocktail with caviar, salmon caviar, plus um, a mint mojito and whatever that little tweed is. Oh, it's cucumber mojito, isn't it? I said mint mojito, I'm sorry, cucumber. If I may be so bold, the staff in the Epicurean are exceptional, absolutely stunningly professional, attentive and friendly. But I was saying to Matthew earlier today, the crew generally have been very friendly, very smiley as well. And even when they've been rushed off their feet, they have still managed to maintain absolute professionalism. Um, and that's coming across loud and clear on Azura during this cruise so far. Matthew's that gone with the um, T-bone pork, which is like a beast. Look at the size of that. I've got lamb cooked two ways. Comes with a little bit of feta, cauliflower tabula, is that how you say it? Um, aubergine something or other. And let's not forget the lamb jus, which smells incredible, by the way. Nom, nom, nom. And we've got chips, broccoli, new potatoes, carrots. That's a cider jus from memory. I'm ready for you. Oh. That is so good. Honestly, there's so many different layers of flavors in that dish. And the lamb jus is so deep and rich in flavor. Bring it all together. Mm. It's just fabulous. It really is. Oh, a palate cleanser. It's a, a raspberry and white chocolate lolly. That's actually really refreshing and it does cleanse the palate. Sharp raspberry taste there. I like that. People side crepe Suzette. Starting with butter. I'm going with a boozy one. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Oh, I'm Brandy. So I'm such a lush. I'm ready, yeah. I hope everyone else is. Ooh. How about for your ice cream, sir? How would you like me? Look at that melting. Oh, beautiful. Everything has been so good tonight. Coffee time. Oh my God, I'm so full up. Don't you dare expect me to have any nibbles tonight because I can't, I can't. Don't make me. And uh, pretty four. Oh, just like that, look. It's like a little bird, isn't it? Swoops in, off it goes. Well, I have to say, that was probably one of the most successful visits we've ever had to the Epicurean on any of the piano fleet. Uh, the food was just sublime. And the service, oh God, those staff worked so hard and they're a total credit to piano. They'd be a total credit to any company. So thank you so much. Loved it. Oh, let's get rid of this torture device. Oh God, I hate you so much. Urgh. I hate you so much right now. Boo! Get off me, get off me, get off me, get off me. Urgh. Alrighty, we are gonna have a lion tomorrow, but 
rise and dine menu now this is not a great variety of breakfast items i've got to be honest however we're just gonna have a few bits and bobs odds and sods nick and knack britain brack delivered uh to tide us over until we actually decide to get up and eat properly all right fruit salad no delivery charge on this unlike on avia and iona where it's two pounds fifty you go, my darling. Oh, shit. Let's do the unresting sign as well. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, Matthew, do you want some pillow, miss? No. No? no Nothing? No, I'm good. <laughs> Matthew, do you want some of this stuff for your pulse? No, thanks. No? Have you got a pulse? No. Please mm. keep me alive through the night. It's time for Betty Pools. No pooping in bed though. I think we've had a very successful CD actually and we weren't overly looking forward to it just because of our last experience. Um, and we try and separate, compartmentalize all these things. Nonetheless, this has been far better <laughs> so far than we thought. And we wake up in Madeira, God willing or not. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow because it's going to be awesome. You have no idea just how much we're going to be getting up to. It's going to be fab. Love most of you. You, 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 not you. Good night, darlings. Good morning, everybody. We are coming into Madeira. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. Clear skies. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's a knock at the door. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Right, we've had a little delivery. Some fruit, muffins, croissant, and pan au chocolat. And we've just been told we're allowed to make notes on the Rise and Dine card if we want any hot items from the buffet as well. Now, is that because we're in uh, a superior deluxe cabin? Don't know, I've never heard that before. We might try it tomorrow and see what happens. Breakfast on the balcony. The sun's just coming up. Coffee time equals energy time. Now then, if you don't fancy the walk into the centre, p and are offering a shuttle bus. I think it's £5 each way. It will take you all the way down here and drop you off at the cable car station. Uh, by the way, we're taking that later. It's going to take us up here and hopefully we'll come halfway back down via one of those fabulous wicker baskets. Alrighty, Matthew is heading into the buffet for breakfast number two. Me, I'm a good boy. No second breakfast for me today. We'll have a peep though, we'll see what they got. Lots of cakes, pastries, buns, cold cuts and cheese. Well, this is great. Plant-based butter, gluten-free cereals, different types of milk. They've even got diabetic jam and marmalade, fruits. And of course you've got all your hot items as well. Corned beef, fried rice, frittata, tofu scramble, fried potatoes, mushrooms. Good old omelette station. It's half nine in the morning and you can tell it's a port day. <laughs> Get those lounges now. But seriously, what a fantastic time to go for a swim. All right, we zap out. Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, all aboard by 9.30 p.m. So we've got a full day and evening here, which is awesome. The dockside there are taxis, shuttle buses, ho-ho buses, it's all here for you. Make sure you barter with those taxi drivers though, okay? And don't forget a select fare shuttle with P&O won't cost you any more. Us cheapies on Saver, five pounds, but we're gonna walk. I'm timing it for you. Nice big wide promenade, walking down into the center of Funchal, and a big fish. There's our baby. And she does look like a baby next to the Aida ship. This is the same model as Iona and Avia. The CR7 Museum. What a beautiful walk into the center. Pretty little cafe. Lovely walk down here, folks. What a beaut. So many places to eat and drink. 
an hour walk for us to get to the cable car. Now we booked our tickets online when we arrived into port this morning. So we get to bypass this line of people buying tickets. Well, there's a healthy line inside, but it seems to be moving quite quickly. Well, that wasn't too bad, considering the line is pretty hefty, about a 15 minute wait. Take me up, God damn it. We made it. Great journey. Recommend it. When you come out of the cable car station, if you turn right, go down a little path, you've got this fabulous coffee shop. So this is just called Local Shop. It has stunning views, by the way. Wow, that apple cake is like a brick. Happy breakfast time. And lemon cake. Not too bad price-wise either, folks up here. Three euros for a coffee. Awesome. This is where you'll also join the other cable car to head to the botanical gardens. It's so beautiful up here, folks. You must do this. And just to the left of the cable car station. If you're interested in taking a crazy basket ride down those hills, uh, when you come out of the cable car station, turn left and continue down this path. I'm addicted to steps. Addicted. Let's get up here. Beautiful. Look who's down there. Temperature wise is 19 degrees Celsius here today, mid January. Very pleasant in the sunshine. Alrighty, so the toboggan takes you from Monti to Livramento. It's two kilometers. That ticket kiosk is quite small, it's just there, so don't miss it. You buy your ticket here at the kiosk and then join the snaky line. Cash payment only here as well, folks. Don't join the long line until you've got your ticket. In we go. <laughs> here we go. Wow, this is steep. This is steep now. now look at those views. Awesome. Yeah. Look how peaceful that is. They work hard, you know. Make sure you do this at least once in your life, twice maybe. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh no. Here we go again. Oh, look at that ocean view. It's incredible. What you might not be aware of is there's still a long way to get back down to the seafront. Uh, there are taxis here, but we're going to walk. Basically, head for the ship. You can't go wrong. At least it's all downhill. I mean, if you don't mind the walk, it's very pretty. And there you go, about 20 minute walk and we are back near to the seafront. Not bad at all. Right, we're just exploring, otherwise known as getting lost in the streets. There are far worse places to get lost, especially on a Monday, just so you know. Vibe right here, right now. It's lunchtime. This will do nicely. Look at the size of this sangria. It was only four euros. Bigger than my head, like my head's massive. He's happy enough, aren't you? He loves a bit of Madeira, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Lovely lunch, lovely environment, lovely weather, lovely people. 
good price. What more can you ask for? What, you want more? Madeira baby, Madeira baby! Well, we've just come to the waterfront and they've got all these stores where you can uh, book excursions, um, little boat tours. And we've literally just booked one, 40 euros each. It's three hours, you get a welcome drink and buffet. I mean, it's not like we don't have access to buffets, is it? Here's our catamaran. Blimey, the things we do on the spur of the moment. Love it. All right, be careful, Matthew. One moment, one moment. <laughs> oh, and if you I'm want to jumper. prove, he is, he is prove. a good jumper. No. <laughs> Go on, Matthew, uh, jump it. Okay, now we can jump. This is going to be so cool, folks. I have no idea where we're going, by the way. <laughs> Let's do this. Everybody. We'll have them go quite slowly because it's quite lumpy. Now then, there's 20 people max allowed on this catamaran. There you go, they have got nibbles on. Oh, that's really cool. Drinks over there. Oh, down the steps, they've even got cabins, look. Tiny little cabin. And another one here. They said you can use it to get changed. The bathroom, they've even got a shower. come back and do that one day that would be terrifying Matthew we have to come here one day and do that oh we made it in spite of choppy seas I got wet legs a few times beautiful we've got waterfalls what a fabulous thing to do I can't believe we just stumbled upon this careful there Matthew oh, oh. <laughs> love an adventure, I do, I love it. Who got wet? <laughs> so you get a chance to go for a swim. I have declined because I'd have to do it in my pants. <laughs> we didn't plan to do this boat trip so I don't have my swimming trunks on. And nobody needs to be seeing that in the lifetime. They really don't. Can you see that tiny cable car, the little red dot in the middle of the screen? Oh my god, I've got to come back to Madeira. I have to do these things. Somebody's been sick. Goodness me, get your sea legs together. All right, I've been asked to move to the back of the boat because we got some choppy seas ahead. Yes. He's holding on to his guts. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Some of you are watching going, oh my God, I'd be sick. I love it. <laughs> Mr. Lee Jones, if you're watching, do you stay in one of these hotels? These are the kind I imagine you'd be in. Jamie's my name, spontaneity is my game. That was fun, loved it. Well, we thought we'd have a pit stop on the way back to the ship. This is the cafe we saw on the way down. Cappuccino, interesting one, it's got whipped cream on top for some reason. 
Oh, we got the creeks. Oh, 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 oh baby. Don't worry, we're home. Straight to Java. I need an iced coffee, my darlings. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Oh, he's making me walk up all these decks. That's so mean. Oh, we've got canopies. Oh, a little nibble before we go out. Officially being a lush. Sat in my gown on my balcony watching the sunset in Madeira. What a freaking life, eh? Well, we were quite taken with a leisurely start to our Rise and Dine breakfast, even though it is a limited menu. Um, you might remember me saying the member of staff who delivered our food today said we could add things like toast and bacon. So I'm going to see if that works. What else did he say we could have? Boiled egg. Boiled egg? Yeah. Are you having one? No. No? Why not? I don't want one. Why are you talking like that? That's All right, going to pop that out just in case we have a late one. I missed the deadline. Who broke the card? I didn't break it. Take the corridor. Take the corridor. We're back. Hey, Planet Bar, we bloody love you. Down the curvy little ramp. Oh, look, that's my little seat there. It's that time of evening. Cheers, Matthew. Good evening, everyone. Hey, good evening. Oh, yeah, we're really good. Oh, it's all happening up here. We've got pianist, Dorama. <laughs> Vodka, soda, Ooh, fresh lime, so love it. Mm. Salud, Mateus. Bye, Madeira, we love you. All right, we are at the Oriental main dining room for the first time. We've got club dining because we booked a save affair, meaning we didn't have a choice as to whether we had freedom dining or club, i.e. fixed dining. Our slot is the 831. I believe we've got a table for two. And here's a look at tonight's menu. What do you reckon I'm gonna have? Place your bets and drop your comments below, but don't drop anything else like your, your undies or whatever. No, keep those on. We have recommendations as well. Now then, this is new. They call it signature selection in the main dining room. Um, a starter, main and dessert priced individually, or you could have all three for $14.95. I know some of you won't be very happy about this, but don't forget you've still got the normal menu included in your cruise fare. Bread service, we love bread service, thank you. I've gone with a tomato soup. I love the tomato soup on piano. Mm. Broccoli soup with toasted almonds for Matthew. I've tried both soups and I would describe them as wholesome, full of flavor and wet. Alrighty, Matthew's got the haddock marathat peas and chips with some tartar sauce. All right, Matthew is happy with his fish. Thank God. He's had some dodgy fish dishes in the last month. I've gone with the fusli arrabbiata. I fancy something nice and plain and simple, just like maple. And I'm not starting mine without parmesan, okay? On protest. Right, the question is how much parmy goes on this? I would say quite a lot, all of it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I see chili. A quite a rich, deep and spicy tomato sauce, which I like. And the pasta, slightly al dente, lashings of parmesan. Nice. A little cheese plate to finish off. Oh, look. Malabar Orchestra. And a bit of Madonna. I am cream crackered, my darlings. And my legs are aching as well from all that walking. However, one thing is certain in life. There are always nibbles in the nibbles cupboard. Right, are we gonna have puffs? Or are we gonna have salt and vinegar Pringles? Are you ready for tonight's Pringle song? <laughs> Time to settle down. God bless you, Marks and Sparks pillow mist. Mm -mm. Time for a little bit of apothecary. 
Right, whilst part one is coming to a close, don't you worry, I've got a good old sizzling, sizzled, sizzle reel for you. Are you ready? Coming up in part two, it's our second sea day. I brave the buffet. It's bath time and bubbles, four more nights, charity shop Sue or Annie Lennox, more Pringle songs, I trek a volcano on La Palma, enjoy a lunch in the Old Town. Back on board, we try out Sindhu Speciality Asian Dining. We go off-road in a buggy on Fuerteventura, explore Puerto del Rosario, enjoy downtime back on board Azura, experience Burns Night in the main dining room, and more mischief. Good night, my darlings, I'll see you the next time. I love you so much, especially you. Thank you all so much for your support as we head to 23,000 subscribers. And today's shout outs to my patrons. You can become a patron by searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X, Threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie, Patreon and Cameo.com forward slash Travel Blog Jamie and of course here on YouTube.